Well, women's health researchers just launched a new trial to learn more about COVID-19 mothers and babies. Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares how it could shed light on the impact of getting the coronavirus in pregnancy. Every new mom who recovers from COVID-19 while pregnant and has a healthy delivery is a reason to celebrate. <laughs> But what happens to a baby exposed to the coronavirus in the womb? The National Institutes of Health has just launched a new trial to find out. The goal of this trial is to follow women long term. It will tell us all kinds of things that we're learning about along the way in this pandemic, but more importantly about healthy moms and their children in the future. Dr. Kristen Coppedge here at Ohio's Good Samaritan Hospital heads up one of the pregnancy centers where women have the option of enrolling in this trial. In it, researchers with the National Institutes of Health will follow moms diagnosed with COVID-19 in pregnancy for the next four years. They hope to find out just how risky it is for baby and mom by discovering... Are they going to um, develop long COVID, um, uh, uh, long-term symptoms to uh, that exposure? And how do their babies do? Are there any long-term complications for those babies that were exposed in utero? Dr. Coppert says we have learned incredible things to help moms deliver healthy babies in this pandemic. For example, when patients are between 26 to 32 weeks, they tend to get sicker. Uh, we have learned the ways to treat patients and what works best for them. But pregnancy care, especially following a pandemic, needs to continue beyond when mom and baby go home. We can assume what we think will happen, but for most things that occur in pregnancy, usually by following the babies for about two to four years, we get a good idea of if there are going to be any long-term effects. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus reporting.